Good evening. Welcome to Singing Sunday brought to you by the Jurong Church of Christ. My name is Paul Go. Very happy to be sharing this platform with you. All right, so this evening, uh, regrettably, I'm not be able to be able with you live. Okay, so this is actually a pre-record session, but I trust that this is uh, equally beneficial to you. All right, but two, uh, but please feel free to leave your comments uh, and any questions you have about this hymn. Uh, should you have uh, should we come across in the course of this uh, uh, presenting this hymn? All right, so this evening we'll be looking at hymn number six hundred eighty-three from the Praise for the Not hymnal. Okay, entitled "Though Your Sins Be as Scarlet." Okay, and it's written by uh, Fanny J. Crosby and uh, written and composed by William H. Doan. All right, so let us look at the hymn in its entirety. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Hear the voice that entreats you, O return ye unto God. He is of great compassion and of wondrous love. He'll forgive your transgressions and remember them no more. Look unto me, ye people, saith the Lord your God. Okay, now let us sing the hymn. Okay, and we shall be singing the first verse. Yes, so that was Though Your Sins Be As Scarlet, okay, written by Fanny J. Crosby and composed by William Doan. Alright, so So Fanny J. Crosby, okay, I'm pretty sure is uh, quite a familiar figure by now. Okay, uh, in fact, uh, she's uh, often uh, called, known as the Queen of Gospel Song Writers. Right? And uh, indeed, uh, apparently she has more than uh, 8,000 hymns and gospel songs uh, under her wing. And uh, she has worked with a couple of well-known publishers. And uh, interestingly, of course, Willem Doan is uh, one, of the, one of her main collaborators. Right? So in the Praise for the Lord hymnal, we have actually some 30 hymns. Okay? I believe that's the most of every, uh, any uh, individual uh, songwriter. Okay, 30 hymns in the Praise for the Lord hymnal and includes uh, such a, a familiar favourites uh, such as Blessed Assurance, uh, Jesus is tenderly calling you home, Praise Him, Praise Him, Rescue the Perishing and of course uh, one of our favourite uh, in uh, Jurong, right? Uh, it's usually used uh, when we have our anniversary celebration you know, or some special occasion uh, to God be the glory. Alright, and um, William, uh, William Doan, uh, again, is, is uh, no stranger. Okay, he has a, is a well-known uh, hymn writer and choral director, and uh, he himself has composed uh, apparently over two thousand church hymns. Okay, and um, uh, with uh, Crosby alone, okay, uh, there's some estimated uh, thousand one thousand five hundred uh, collaborations with her. Okay, um, and uh, in our praise for the Lord, hy praise for the Lord hymnal, there are some sixteen hymns, and almost almost all uh, with uh, Crosby. So it includes the uh, hymns like I'm Thine, O Lord, uh, Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross, 
uh, again, rescue the perishing, uh, and of course, also to God to be glory as well. Okay, so, as you can see in this hymn, okay, this is written in the key of A flat. Okay, A flat. Okay, so you have okay, the B flat, E flat, E flat, as well as the uh, uh, D flat over here. Okay, so the, the Do, okay, the triangular note, starts on an A flat. Okay, the range uh, for this particular hymn is, I would say, relatively narrow side, okay, because the basses, you only go down to an A flat 2, okay, and the sopranos, you only go up to, uh, yeah, you only go up to a D flat, okay, a D flat. Okay, so the range is uh, very manageable for, for most, if not all. Okay, the time signature is uh, quite the popular 3-4. Okay, so this is your simple 3. Okay, simple 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, simple 3. Okay, and the tempo-wise, hey, I would say moderate to fast. Okay, so anywhere between uh, crotchet to 80 to about 110. So again, as we have mentioned on previous occasions, uh, qu quite dependent on your acoustics of your surroundings. Okay, if it's a more lively acoustic, okay, you might want to take it a little bit slower. Okay, and conversely, if it's a drier acoustic, you might want to take it a bit faster. Okay, so in terms of the mood, all right. So um, as you can see, right in the first verse, okay, this is really a direct quotation uh, from Isaiah one eighteen. Right, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Okay, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, though they be red as crimson, they shall be as wool. Okay, so this is taken from Isaiah 1.18. And certainly, God is all-powerful and only God okay, is able to forgive sins. And the limitation is really not on God, okay, but on us. Okay, thus, the blessed assurance and confidence as we know that God will welcome the penitent and obedient into his arms. Okay. All right, so in terms of the technical aspects, okay, I think that one of the highlights of this hymn uh, that we're going to uh, go through this tonight okay, is, as you can notice, right, the mixture okay, of uh, different rhythmic patterns. Right? So even on this first page, okay, you can see there is that skipping rhythm okay, of the dotted quaver, semi-quaver uh, motif. Okay, and uh, there's a triplet. Okay, we've uh, covered this uh, previously. Okay, so again, we'll spend just a little bit more time on this to revise. Okay, the triplet. Okay, and of course, there's also the straight rhythms. Okay, over here. Okay, and towards the end as well. All right, so quite an interesting mix. Okay, and uh, I hope that uh, we'll be a little bit more conscientious and precise about them. Okay, uh, especially to the song leaders, okay, because you'll be directing uh, the royal congregations. Okay, and in terms of the musical aspects, Okay, uh, primarily uh, the dynamics. Okay, in, uh, this is one of the occasions where the, the hymn writer or the composer okay, actually uh, puts specific dynamic uh, in, in indications. Okay, so uh, again, uh, just uh, for the benefit of those who are uh, not familiar, so when we say dynamics, it's really talking about the loudness or softness of the, uh, of the hymn. So we can see here, okay, this is uh, the italicized P, right? It's the Italian piano, okay? It means soft, okay? And then the F here, okay, it means forte, okay? Which is loud or actually, uh, strictly speaking, strong, okay? But yes, we take it to mean as a, a general a loudness in volume, okay? And then also to the end again, there's a piano over here, okay? And the RIT, which is ritardando or retard, Okay, which means to slow down the tempo. So these are some of the musical aspects that are kind of like already uh, written in okay, by the composer. Okay, and um, some of the as aspects uh, which I will touch on in greater detail okay, is uh, a, a kind of a legato or a smoother component okay, uh, as we come to the straight rhythmic patterns. All right, so now without further ado, let us dive into the parts. Hey, so the Sopranos. Do mi so. Okay, so one, two. 
Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, that's right. Okay, so um, of, uh, when, we, when we, we start straight away with a skipping rhythm, right? Though your sins... Okay, so it's very uh, kind of uh, crispy and tight. Though your sins... And then the next one is a little bit more kind of laid back. Be as scarlet... Okay? And it will be a little bit more uh, kind of like obvious or uh, tricky, right? If you please, uh, on, the, on the guys. Okay? Because uh, as opposed to the ladies where you have actually three separate notes for each of the triplet. Okay? But for you, okay, as you can see, oh, sorry. Okay? Triplet note, uh, a separate note for each of the triplet. Okay? For you, you have one note. In fact, the same note, all right? Uh, but is arranged in okay, a, a, a crotchet okay, followed by a quaver. Okay, so you have to judge yourself. Okay, and how do you do that? Okay, you lean on the, 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 the sisters that are singing this. So, B, S, K, okay, it's easier for them to judge, right? One, two, three. Okay, versus one and two and one and two and one and, and two and, and one and, and two and, and, right? So, that's the meaning of triplet, right? So, you're squeezing the three notes okay, in the regular uh, time frame of the two quavers. Right, so B as scarlet. Okay, so you just listen to them. B as scarlet. Okay, we will touch on that later on uh, when we get to the guy, uh, the guys. Okay, just wanted to uh, highlight while we stop here. Okay, so the triplet here. B as scarlet. Okay, make sure they're even. Okay, B as scarlet, and then back to the skipping rhythm. They shall be as white as snow. Okay, so really very crisp. Okay, and uh, precise over there. Okay, so the, the danger is to be kind of like uh, distracted by the triplet. Okay, and you especially after the triplet, okay, we tend to get a little bit sloppy with our rhythm. Okay, let's try again one, one more time. Okay, and uh, please, uh, all, all, I'll invite you know, the other parts to join in as well because you know, it's pretty much the same rhythmic pattern that we see. Do, mi, so, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, almost similar. Uh, in fact, similar in the rhythm. Okay, just a, a slight difference in the notes. So, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, so just the last bit here. So do ti do ti re do. Okay, let's try one more time. So one two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, let's take it from the top without stopping. So one. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, that's right. Okay, altos. Hey, your turn. Do me. Okay, so you're running parallel thirds. One, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, okay, so fairly straightforward, right? Mi, 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 do, re, mi, fa, mi. Mi, mi, so, 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 fa, mi. Okay, one more time. Mi, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, similar. Mi, 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 do, re, mi, fa, mi. And then, mi, mi, so, 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 ti, so. Okay, so that's the difference there. So, ti, so. Okay, from top. Mi, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay. Just be careful of the T. So do T, so T, so. 
they shall be as white as snow. Okay. Okay, let's take it from the top. Okay, without stopping. Me, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, and on to you, guys. Okay, so as I mentioned, okay, this portion here is a little bit more tricky. So you have the do, uh, though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, so while they are doing be as scarlet, okay, you kind of count in your heart. Be as scarlet, okay, be as scarlet, okay. But uh, obviously, uh, don't articulate, right? Don't be as scarlet, okay. So be as, let's count in the heart, right? Be as scarlet, okay. Let's try that. Okay, uh, let's look at, uh, look at the tennis first. No, okay, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. All right, so notice the contrast, right? Though your sins, very sharp and crispy, very tight, right? Though your sins, and then it's more laid back, be as scarlet, okay? Though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, let's try that. One, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, one more time. One, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, almost similar. Do go. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, so it goes up. Refer me. Okay, one more time for the top of the page. No, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, excellent. Okay, let's go back to the top of him and uh, take it without stopping. No, one. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, excellent. Okay, basis. Now on to you. Okay, double check your pitch. No. Okay, so similar, right? So uh, as mentioned, right, with the... Uh, listen, listen out for the uh, for the ladies. Okay, who are saying, be as scarlet, eh? be as scarlet. Okay, that's right. One, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, all your usual base suspects, right? No, so no. Okay, uh, fairly straightforward. One more time. Do uh, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, so essentially the same uh, notes. Okay, let's take it from the top of the hymn one more time. Okay, both pages without stopping. Though, one, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, excellent. Okay, now, back to the ladies. Okay, so for the kind of like chorus, right? Um, or the second part of it, the second motif. Okay, though they be red. Okay, so that it begins with a triplet. So again, it's pretty easy or relatively easier to judge. Okay, because you have three um, syllables as well as three notes. Okay, though they be red like crimson. Okay, now this is a little bit tricky. Okay, because you have what we call a, you can see this 
this this line over here, this arching line. Okay, this is what I call a tie. So basically, what happens is it joins these two notes, okay, the uh, uh, minimum, okay, with the quaver. Okay, so it's essentially like one note, but it's like a double dotted minimum, right? So re a, okay, just that one quaver, okay, and then the and the extra challenge is that, okay, the the next note, okay, there is a change in the note, but it is still your red, okay, so you have to re then come back to like crimson, right? So it can be a little bit tricky and difficult to judge. Okay, so um, so you uh, uh, one suggestion is to okay, use use a little bit of a diaphragm pressure, okay, to articulate it. Okay, red like okay, red like crimson. Uh, uh, okay, the red, red like crimson. Okay, use a bit of diaphragm control, okay, to give yourself uh, a little bit more clarity. Okay, so red like crimson. Okay, let's try that. One, two. Red like crimson. Yes. Okay. So it can be a bit tricky, especially if the tempo is a bit faster. Okay. So um, uh, to take note. Okay, song leaders. Okay. Uh, of course, even uh, as a gauge so yourself. Okay, and the ability of your of your sopranos. Okay, and uh, judge accordingly. It maybe it might be uh, uh, advantageous, you know, for you to start a little bit slower. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. So la so re mi re do do. Okay, and then do re mi mi la. Okay, so this part here, okay, I would suggest just a touch of ritardando. Okay, in preparation for your uh, pause over here. Okay, so let's try uh, from the from the top of the page. So one two, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Yes. Okay. So here you notice it comes back to the straight rhythm. So they shall be as wool. And interestingly, hey, uh, all the parts actually singing in unison, right? So obviously different octaves, right? But uh, the same notes. So you know when you you when you hear it as a whole, and all of a sudden everybody comes together. So, uh, my suggestion is give a little bit more articulation. They shall be okay, just to highlight that you know kind of like a stoicness, uh, and the surety right of this statement here. They shall be yes, ooh. okay, to give it the, the more the added gravity okay to the statement. All right, let's try it again. Uh, Spanos. So a uh, one two, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Yes. Okay. And then of course this one wool. So uh, of course the bulk of the note is wool, the oo vowel that oo, and it was that oo towards the end wool. Okay, l at the at the very last minute. Okay, so that it doesn't sound like woo. Okay, <laughs> you're not out there wooing uh, someone, but it's woo. Okay, white as woo, right? All right, so one more time, uh, Sopranos. So, a one, two. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as woo. Yes, okay. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, and then it starts with piano, right? Though your sins. So again, uh, what we mentioned on previous occasions, okay, use a kind of a loud whisper, right? Though your sins be as scarlet, and then forte. Though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, and then carry on, and then here, all right. So uh, we mentioned uh, in the introduction, right? We add a legato component. They shall be as white as snow as we kind of uh, wind down and then towards piano over here. And then they shall be as white as snow. Yes. All right, so uh, do be caref careful, right? Song leaders, okay, take as much time as you need, okay, but do be clear. Uh, in your indication, right? So, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, if that's what you want, okay, make sure you kind of subdivide the beat. 
okay, or even beat the rhythmic pattern. Or okay, let's say if you do not want uh, that much ritardando, so again, okay, be a little bit clearer. Okay, they shall be as white as snow. Yes, okay, then probably for the last verse, you might want to save that in a, a little bit more uh, broadened out tempo. Okay, so let us take the soprano part, okay, without stopping, okay, all the last three pages. Do mi so, one, two. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Though your seas be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Yes, that's right. Okay, now altos. Okay, so as opposed to the sopranos, okay, you actually have just one note. Okay, although uh, uh, the same rhythmic pattern as a triplet. Okay. So. So, fa, okay, fa, 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 so, fa, mi, mi. So, same thing, you have the red, like crimson, okay, to deal with, to deal with, okay, as the sopranos. Okay, that's right. Fa, 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 okay, one, two. Though they be red, like crimson, they shall, okay, so, again, it's the same. Uh, munison, right? They shall be as, and then he'll mean, remain in uh, me. Okay, they shall be as wool. Yes. Okay, one more time from the top. Fa one two. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Yes. Okay. Let's carry on. And then it's me far though your sins get piano, though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet. Okay. So you know, it's kind of like taking over, uh, what the where the uh, sopranos left off. Okay, except in uh, obviously in forte. Okay, so 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 mi va so la so. Okay, one more time. Fa one two. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, and then. Okay, re, so, then we. Excuse me. Okay, re, so, then same note, right? So, so, si, so, so, la. Okay, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, they shall be as white as snow. Okay, and then say, me, me. They shall be as white as snow. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take it from the top of the section without stopping. Do re mi fa. Though they be red, one two. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Yes, that's right. Okay, excellent. All right, guys. Okay, tennis. Okay, so sim similarly, okay, you have a slightly easier job, okay, because there's no change in note. Okay, so it's basically a T, and then you have to just have to time the T together with your, uh, the, with the the like, okay, with the, uh, with the ladies. Okay, so do T, okay, T do T T T do do, 
Okay, so you have a slightly easier job there. Okay, just make sure you uh, align it, align yourselves with the sisters. Okay, with the ladies. Okay, T. Okay, one, two. T do T. Okay, sorry. Uh, with the words, though they be red. Okay, remember us. T do T T. Okay, uh, remain in the T. Yeah. Okay, one, two. Though they be red like crimson. Hey, got that? One more time. One, two. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Yes, one more time. T one two. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. That's right. Okay, let's carry on. And then re re do. Okay. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, one more time. Re re. So just be careful of this. Okay. Re re. Uh, re re do. So previously you ended with mi re do, right? And then you go up to re do re do. So though your sins. Okay. Ready? One more time. One, two. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Okay, sorry, I jumped. I jumped the gun on that. So this is not yet piano. So, but smooth, right? They shall be as white as snow, and then they shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, the entire section without stopping. Do ti. Okay, one, two. Though they be red like crimson. They shall be as wool. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Right. Okay. Excellent. All right. Bass. Okay. Now bass. Okay. You have a little bit more special uh, motif over here. Okay. That is unusual from the rest. So what the where the rest goes, though they be red. Okay. With that long note there. Okay. You have that interjection here. Okay. A repeated triplet pattern. So though they be red, though they be red like crimson. Okay. So don't don't panic. Okay. Uh, with the multitude of notes. Okay, so essentially you have the three and n, and then one, two, three. So one, two and n, three and n. Okay, you see that? So uh, it's easier for the song leaders, okay, to follow or you follow the song leaders, right? So one, two and n, three and n. So though they be red, so uh, so excuse me, uh, with the bass, though they be red, though they be red like crimson. Okay, you see that? So it's, it's actually pretty straightforward. Okay, so don't, don't panic. You'll say, oh, what's going on? Okay, so it's, though they be red, though they be red like crimson. Okay, just be careful uh, that you come in on time at the second beat, directly on the second beat. Okay, I know it can be a bit confusing, right? When you look at it, oh, uh, you're thinking that is a, is it a skipping rhythm, right? But no, okay, it's essentially because this, this is not part of the triplet, right? So it's one and then two. Two and n, three and n. So, though though they be red, though they be red like crimson. Okay, got that? One more time. One, two. Though they be red, though they be red like crimson. Okay, carry on. They shall be as wool. Okay, one more time from the top. One, two. Though they be red, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Okay, and then, and be careful of this is ti ti do, 
Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, one more time from the top of the page. Tito do one two. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, and then me, do me, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, one more time for the top of the page. They me far one two. They shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. That's right. Okay, let's take it from the top of the section. Okay, double check a pitch. Do mi so one two. Though they be red, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They shall be as white as snow. Yes, that's right. Okay, so that was it. Though your sins be as scarlet. Okay, written by Fanny J. Crosby, composed by William H. Doan. All right, so let us sing the hymn one more time. Yes, so that was once again, Though Your Sins Be As... Oops, sorry about that. Okay, that was once again, Though Your Sins Be As Scarlet. Okay, written by, uh, written by Fanny J. Crosby and composed by William H. Doan. Alright, so... Okay, thank you once again for joining us. Okay, this has been Singing Sunday, brought to you by Jijong Church of Christ. Okay, my name is Paul Goh. Again, apologies that I'm not able to be with you live, okay? uh, but nevertheless, I trust that this has been equally beneficial to you. All right, so again, I want to extend an ex invitation to you uh, to join us in our services, okay? uh, uh, in-person services at 120 Boon Lay Drive, okay? the Jong Church of Christ. Okay? Our service starts at 10.30, and before that, we have nine o'clock uh, Bible class at 9 o'clock. Okay? We will typically start with some singing okay? before we break off to our uh, respective classes. Okay? We have classes for all ages. Uh, including the babies, right? Uh, the cradle roll, okay? Although that starts at 9.30, okay? And as mentioned, the worship service proper starts at 10.30, okay? And uh, even while we're having the in-person uh, worship service, we'll also be live streaming on our Facebook as well as YouTube channels, okay? So please, if you are visiting, okay, do like and subscribe, okay? So that you can, and click the notification button, right? The bell, uh, so that uh, you can be kept abreast of our latest posts. All right, so, and uh, not forgetting, we have our midweek evening Bible class, okay, and went on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m., all right, and uh, we have ongoing uh, snippets, uh, Motivating Monday, 
and Tuesday tips, okay, whereby is this aspect, uh, this series is uh, on timeless treasures, okay, presented by Brother Roger Campbell. Okay, suddenly a very exciting series on study on Second Peter, not to be missed. Okay, so new episodes will be aired at 8 a.m. Okay, every Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, and again, we do not want you to go away with any of our questions unanswered and doubts unclarified. So if you have a Bible question, we would love to provide you with a Bible answer, show you the Bible answer, okay, again, from the Bible, okay, in a form of a personalized Bible study. So if you'd like to know more about it, okay, do reach out to us. Okay, we'd be glad to arrange one, okay, either in person at our church building or any uh, location that's in your convenience. Or uh, if you're not comfortable yet, okay, we can always organize an online study. Okay, with uh, any of the online platforms. Okay, whatever it is, we are here to serve your spiritual needs. Okay, I love for you to uh, uh, to uh, uh, make use of our uh, of of our uh, services over here. All right. So once again, this has been Singing Sunday, brought to you by the Jurong Church of Christ. My name is Paul Go. Very happy and honored to be sharing this platform with you, and I trust that this has been beneficial. Beneficial. So in the meantime, uh, do continue to stay safe, keep safe. Okay, and have a great week ahead. And we'll see you soon. Thank you and good night.